Imagine that someone, anybody really, wouldn't want this to happen, particularly in our wonderful country, celebrating someone that did so much for our heritage and really just the fact that she did so much in general. Who are we talking about? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Nice to have your company today. And as ever, welcome one and all brand new subscribers. This story, you know, is fascinating because when you look at history, we're defined, aren't we, by statues in many respects everywhere around the world. And I don't know about you, I like looking at statues because obviously, you know, they're made in life size and you kind of think, oh, he wasn't very tall or she wasn't very tall or something like that. Forgetting, of course, that people many years ago were a lot smaller. I told you recently, you know, about a, a, a visit that our brilliant king King Charles made to York Minster and I remember going on a school trip many years ago not really just how small the doorways were you can imagine what happened and then that's when somebody pointed out that people simply were of a different stature all of those years ago I'll never forget it that's why I've shared it with you you can imagine the bump on the head can't you and the the words afterwards but anyway what's interesting here is as we saw recently a brilliant new statue has been unveiled the first hopefully of many up in York, inside York Minster, well the outside, but inside the building of York Minster, of our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. Now what's interesting here is, you know, that obviously a lot of people were absolutely thrilled. This was commissioned actually during the Queen's lifetime. And I think what is nice about statues, as I say, is it really does make you think about the person, what they achieved, and more importantly, the period that they lived. We've seen a big sort of kickback, haven't we, of statues of late, with people trying to topple them because alleged uh, historical facts attached to them and all that sort of stuff. Ridiculous when you think. But over here in London, what's fascinating is this. Our London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, has decided that really the extra plinth in Trafalgar Square simply at this point doesn't merit another statue of Queen Elizabeth, a first really in London. Incredible to think, isn't it? Now, this is a mayor, of course, that's an embattled mayor that hasn't really done much uh, for the city. And more importantly, let's not forget that when he decided to reveal this particular bon mot about not wishing to have a statue of our wonderful monarch, he was trying to push his own climate book. Oh, yes, he's even battling Greta now for sales in that particular market. Now, sadly for Sadiq Khan, it's not selling particularly well, even though he's come out at odds. He said he will review the situation in the coming months. This has really angered many people, as one can imagine over here, simply because we don't really know what the mayor does. Many people want him removed. In fact, the whole plot removed because we can't seem to see exactly the value for money. Now, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the mayor himself is very quick to picture himself in press conferences alongside the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, meeting the Queen, meeting King Charles, and then, of course, William and Catherine all benefit himself for a wider reach when he is finally removed from office and no doubt still trying to flog that book. But what's fascinating is this, how on earth is he allowed to decide what the British public would like to see on the plinths in Trafalgar Square? We've already seen some of the things that he's suggested which haven't proved a runaway success. More importantly though, will he change his mind and is there anything the British public can do to finally have a say on how to celebrate this wonderful lady of 70 years in the form of a statue? As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. And remember, keep it civil. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.